Hello there! Welcome to the first episode of the F1 2007 career mode series. I know that I was this was supposed to go up on the 1st of January, but I decided to swap the release dates around on the Siege video and this. We started off the year well with some Siege, so I think it's time to wind down from that type of chaos and let's do some racing. <laughs> I gotta say, this is probably one of like the coolest mods that I've ever seen for any game in general like like the fact that like even the driver names are changed and even like the models because look like mclaren you have lewis hamilton alonso i know that's not alonso's model but still i mean they did a great job even with the suits too like even ferrari here kimi raikkonen massa toro rosso there's my man sebastian vettel so since this is the first episode of this and i know many of you probably are expecting siege content but trust me i just want to do i want to provide a little variety as i said in my 2022 a big improvement video and this will consist of 10 episodes for ranging from australia bahrain china spain canada britain belgium italy japan and brazil i tried to get as much tracks uh you know from the actual 2007 season Obviously, in this game, it's Suzuka, but in real life, it was at Fuji, so, I mean, there's no way to change that, but, you know, we'll just have to go with it. And I would have done 16 races, but I want to do 10, because it I feel like 16 would be a little too much, so, here we go. So, um, yeah, that is honestly one of the coolest things I've seen in that mod, <laughs> the intro. That that intro was actually used on ITV in 2007. It was awesome. So what's our strategy here? So we go into the softs and then the hard. Okay, so it's a two-stop. All right. So as we start here, here we go. Three lights, four lights, five lights, and the 2007 season is go. Oh, God. Traction, traction. I forgot. These cars are so slidey with the traction. We're gaining on on Physikella here. I forgot his name. <laughs> there we go. Getting squarely out of turn one. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> it's so it's such it's these cars like especially with the group tires like they're so so slidey. I have to get used to that. We're gonna go down on the inside of Heidfeld. It's not gonna work. We might go on the outside of him though. Nice. There we go. Behind Kubica Weber. Who's that? Raikkonen. Oh, God. Jesus, God, it's so slidey. We're in a battle here with Heidfeld. Oh God, I didn't even know we collided into him. It's more like the traction. The traction when you get out of the corners, it's slidey. But I, I do like the challenge though, because you know you gotta, you gotta tame the car. Yeah, that's probably the cleanest I've gone through that turn all weekend long. Because, I, I mean, I adjusted my controller settings, so now they feel much, much better. And the car doesn't feel, like, so slidey like that, <laughs> as usual. So, we're behind Kubica, Weber's up there, I see Raikkonen, and I believe I saw Coltard up there. I can't believe he's up there in a freaking Red Bull. <laughs> as Massa gets the fastest lap, he's the leader of this. Just gonna say it right now, it actually feels nice to be back on F1 2020 and play it in, like, this type of mod. I do miss managing the fuel like that, like rich, standard, and lean. I do miss that. Like, honestly, like, it, I mean, I, they took it away in 2021, and obviously it's not there in 22, but it just gave some, a new, like, level of management with your car and such. Okay, we're catching up on Kubica here. Lining up a shot here to pass. Hopefully you... Goddamn. So squirrely out of the corners. God. Need to get used to that. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> We're gaining on Kubica. We're gaining on him. Our Toyota's looking very, very good. Obviously, we only made two spots up, but we have the potential to make up more spots. So let's see if we can do it. Oh my god. I don't know how I keep getting away with these saves, but I sure as hell don't feel like I should have gotten away with that one. Okay, we might actually be able to dive bomb Kubica. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, not without contact though. Sorry, Kubica. 
but we are catching up on Weber though, so that's a really, really good thing. Oh, we got a strategy change. What's what's it? Lap seven? Lap five? I'm gonna just stick with lap five. See if we can like stay out, or we can like pit the earliest and try and get a jump on most of these guys. And we got the non-existent DRS enabled, but it's not gonna do much because I think Weber had it. God. This turn is so hard to get right, this last turn, even on the modern games. That last turn is such a hard one to get, god damn, because like, it's like you have to apply a limited amount of power but also stay fast. <laughs> okay, as we get DRS, the non-existent DRS on Weber, you may send it down the inside again. Oh, he just cuts us off. At least we didn't make contact, unlike with Kubitsa that time around, so we're, we're fine. But we are still sticking with him, so that's good. I gotta say though, even though like I, I expected to make up more positions because we qualified in tenth. Oh, there's a caution on the track. I don't have my track map on for some reason, but who's that going slow? Is that Raikkonen? Oh, he's blown an engine. <laughs> safety car is deployed. I know it said Sebastian Vettel, but that's Kimi Raikkonen. So there's the safety car queue. We could get a free pit stop here, which is good. Okay, I have enabled my track map again. So there you go. I don't know why it was off. It. it it was on the default setting, I guess maybe this mod doesn't work with that specifically, but that's fine. That's alright. Alright, here we go for our pit stop. Where are we? Okay, we're right there. There we are. Good stop. Good stop. Oh, I should have turned pit assist off because I wanted to do that on my own. So it looks like we're going to be coming out in fourth place. Wow. Behind Coltard and Lewis Hamilton. And we're, about, we're behind a place in the podium position. That's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe, <laughs> we could score a podium in our debut race. That would be sick, wouldn't it? But to be fair, we're on lap six of this race. Anything could happen in these next few laps after the safety car ends. Okay, safety car is coming in. Getting ready for this restart. I'm gonna get up alongside Coltard. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we got the jump on him, but obviously we can't pass him into the line. So we're going to be side by side here, but okay, clear. Uh, he's going to get us. Yeah, he's going to get the better of us, but we should get the better of him in this turn, if possible. Yep, we do. Oh, he raises his hand out. Ooh, go on the grass. That was not pretty. That was my fault. <laughs> Let's see if maybe we can go for a dive bomb. Oh, not without contact, though, just like you did so. <laughs> God, I am terrible with that turn today. In the modern cars, I'm good at it, but in, the, in these 2007 cars, not really. <laughs> But you know what, we just gotta keep on pushing just like now, we're right behind Coltar. Maybe we could go for a move on the inside, yes we can. He locks up. Are we gonna get it? Oh, we're side by side in this turn. It's a very tight turn, we got it. We got it, but he's coming back though, he's very, he's coming back, he's angry because we hit him. I think we got it, we got it, P3 for us. But it's not over yet because look at how much he's gaining. And obviously DRS is not enabled just yet, but those Red Bulls are going to have the speed and the downforce. So we get a little squirrely into turn one, but we're going to get the better exit out of turn two. So there we go. Alonso is trying to make up positions on Weber, but of course, I'm sure he's frustrated as well. Yeah, he must be very frustrated back there. Obviously now it may just look like a cruise to the finish now, but no, I, I think these guys are not done yet. So... Gotta stay on our toes for these last few six, seven laps. Oh, there's another caution. Who has blew their engine this time around? I don't think it's Alonso. Nicholas is here. Well, that's obviously one of the Williams drivers. <laughs> I don't think this mod covers those types of names on those graphics, so I'm not sure who that could be, but this is the type of stuff that I really want to happen <laughs> to make this series as interesting and, most, and mostly as fun as possible because I just don't want it to be super boring and such, you know, just dominant, just, just cruising in like P5 or something from start to finish. <laughs> you know, I want to be involved in these battles and such, and at least have these crazy safety car moments, you know? Um, okay, here comes Coltart again. This time he's got DRS. Oh, we go a little wide there. He's definitely going to go for a move into turn three here. Yep, here he comes. Are we going to be able to defend him, though? Going to give him some room. Almost took it. Almost took it. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. Another collision. Coltard's looking for a run at this turn. 
I wonder if he's gonna clear us. He might do it. Yes, he will. Into this turn. He got. Oh. Okay, apparently the safety car is out for some reason. Uh. I'm not sure what has happened or what occurred, but. Okay then. So here we go. Only two laps remaining in the Australian Grand Prix. We're gonna get alongside Coltar, but we're going we're not gonna try and pass him. Slipstream, please work. Okay, I guess it's I guess the slipstream gods are against us. But we're gonna try to turn two and turn three if we can. Because obviously we're not gonna have DRS. Because, you know, there's only two laps remaining. We're gonna go down the inside. We're gonna hit Coltard, but you know what? Who cares at this point? <laughs> Oh god, we got a little squirrely out of that turn. Coltard is up against us now. And we're gonna see if maybe he'll... If, maybe if the Slipstream Gods will hand him a gift on the front stretch. Oh god. God. I don't like this turn. <laughs> I really don't like it. Oh, Coltard had to slow down because we got a little squirrely. And now he's gonna get a run on us. And so is Weber. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. We're, leading our we're gonna go into turn one. Side by side. Oh man, it's all or nothing now from Coltard. He's gonna have to send it or just make a move on the other turns. He's gonna go to the outside. Can't go there, my friend. You can't go there. I got the inside line. And as the Australian Grand Prix, this chaotic Australian Grand Prix comes to an end, it's going to be Felipe Massa winning the race, Lewis Hamilton in second, and us in our first race, we get third place. Great debut, great podium for us, after a hard battle with the Red Bulls of David Coulthard. Amazing race. Here's our winner, pulling their Ferrari into Park Fermi. What a fantastic race it was. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. All I can say to that race is wow. <laughs> Though that first safety car really helped us. It really helped us jump most of the guys in the field in the like in the top five, and we were able to get out like fourth, and then we passed Coltard. And I, I mean, Coltard can be pretty good. He can feel satisfied with his position because fourth and fifth for Red Bull, that's pretty good. Alonso though, big loser though, big big loser because he was second, and then he after that first safety car he dropped down to sixth, which is not good. <laughs> So we are now third in the standings, and Toyota is fourth in the standings, so that's very good. 11 points behind Red Bull. Well, <laughs> that race was incredible. I did not expect that to go as I planned, but hey, third place on debut, that's pretty good. But overall, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's not like a siege video or anything, but honestly, I wanted to provide some type of variety this year. And uh, I, I think yeah, I think I did well for the first episode. Hopefully it continues like this. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the, the race, I, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe as well, as we are very close to 2,000 subscribers. And uh, I think it would be nice to reach that for this year. And without further ado, I hope you all take care and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.